Welcome back everyone. We're gonna pick up where we left off with dilations. This time we're gonna be doing a Khan Academy called Dilations Center. Okay, so we need to keep in mind that dilations could be two possible things. They could be a growth or they could be a reduction. And both happen around a particular center. So we're gonna explore those options in just a second. So the question asks us, quadrilateral L prime is the image of quadrilateral L under a dilation. Okay, so let's, let's go ahead and put this into perspective. If L prime is the image, so this one is the image, what does that make quadrilateral L? That makes it the pre-image. So before it undergoes a transformation, in this case a dilation, this pre-image goes into this image. Well, take a look. The pre-image is much larger than the image. So what's happening? It's a dilation, but it's specifically a reduction. Okay. Now, one thing you need to keep in mind about dilations. If we have a center, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do a diagram over here. So here's our center. If we have a growth, the growth will happen away from the center. So everything expands away from the center, whether it's going this way or this way our shape is going to expand away from the center if it's a growth. Okay, let me go ahead and erase this. Now, conversely, what do you think, anticipate here, what do you think is going to happen if we have a reduction? Of course, we still need a center for our dilation, but what is going to happen if we have a reduction? So we have a bigger shape and it becomes much smaller. What? How does it move in respect to the center? Well, if we have a reduction, it's going to move towards the center. It's going to be like a gravity well, a black hole. Everything's going to condense towards the center. Okay, so let's look at L prime here, this quadrilateral. Oops, sorry, that's L. And then L prime, the smaller one. Okay, clearly it's reduction. It goes from big to small. Where is the, the uh, motion of this reduction? Remember, it has to reduce towards the center. Obviously, it's not D because L is moving that way. So that kind of rules out D. That definitely rules out C. Now, if it was B, we would see that these points are getting in line towards B. That is not the case. Let's look at just the bottom right vertex. Look at the bottom right vertex in the direction it is going to. Clearly, if we continued this path, it would go right towards A. What about the bottom left vertex? Same thing. It's in a direct path heading towards our center A. So A is going to be our center. Let me get rid of this board. We're gonna plug in A for answer, check it out. Boom, nice work. Let's go to the next question. Triangle N prime is the image of triangle N under a dilation. Okay, let's take a look now. So N prime is the image making N the pre-image. Is the image bigger or smaller than the pre-image? Clearly, it's bigger. So this is an enlargement. So it's a it's a, uh, a dilation, but it is specifically an enlargement. Remember, everything happens with an enlargement. It's like it's pushing it away. It's expanding outwards. So remember, enlargements push away from the center. Well, that rules out B and C because those are going towards. Enlargements do not happen towards the center. They happen away. Okay, now let's look at the vertexes, the vertices, excuse me, the top left and the top left. If this is happening away, okay, and we continue this line, is that in line with point A? It is not. So point A is out. Where is it in line with? It is in line with point D. So point D is our center for this problem. So we're going to put D because everything's expanding away from it in a perfect line. Check it out. Boom shakalaka. Got that one right. 